it. So when people come to see a Richard Barker show, what can they experience? So first of all, it's um, very interactive. So there's lots of shows where, you know, the star of the show is obviously the act that you came to see. Right. What's cool about this show is the stars of the show truly are friends and family or people from the audience that become the stars of the show. And, you know, some of the misconceptions that I've found is sometimes people think it's mind control or I'm taking over their mind. But to be fair, you're, you're only actually going to react to what you want to react to. So sure. you, you wouldn't do anything against your moral beliefs or upheld sort of view. So I couldn't make you do anything against your will. Mm -hmm. But what I've noticed is when they do come up, they do have the time of their life. <laughs> and one hour of hypnosis feels like four hours of uninterrupted sleep. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a family friendly show. I'm so happy that it's here in South Florida. And, and honestly, if you do get up on stage, you'll have the best seat in the house. So we've got shows taking place March 18th and 20th and April 9th and 10th, all in South Florida. Do you have to change your show at all because of the pandemic or do you just sort of do what you were doing before? You know, we're more aware of the touching and the sort of proximity of people. So it has altered slightly. So for example, we're using more sanitizer and sure. you know, more you know, you know, sanitizing wipes and things like that. Uh, predominantly, I said the biggest thing would be to just make sure people are safe. Uh, so what are some of the things that people will see at your show? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but there could be exotic animals on stage. <laughs> Might even be a dog show. Can you tell who's able to be put under and who cannot? Yeah, so you, when you look at a volunteer, usually those that can focus, relax, and concentrate the most make the best volunteers. Well, that is not me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I must have been tired. And a typically an above average level of intelligence. That is not me. Because you're going to be following <laughs> suggestions and sometimes people can't work out what the suggestions are. Gotcha. But you know, the big trick is, or the big secret is, if you don't want to be hypnotized, you won't get hypnotized. Right. And if you do, then you can and will. And sometimes your hidden personality shines through. Mm. So it just almost increases your fun personality. I'm an angry elf from the South Pole. I think that's the hidden person. Then you need to be on stage when we're doing the show, because <laughs> that'll be fun. So you're going to hypnotize me now. Am I going to cluck like a chicken? What am I going to do? No, no, no. It's more sophisticated than that. So <laughs> crow like a rooster? <laughs> like a dog. No, that's the old days. This is, this is way better. Okay. And all I want you to do for a second here is just focus on an object in the distance, maybe a light, okay, since we're light. on the theater. Yeah. yeah. And just focus on the light just for a few moments. And the more you focus and the more you stare at the light, the more tired you become. And in a second, but not yet, when I count to three, just simply take a deep breath in and close your eyes on one, two, and three. Just close your eyes, and I want you to feel a sense of relaxation drifting from the top of your head all the way down through the tips of your toes. Focus on your arms, your legs, your face, and your feet. And I want you just to imagine yourself melting, collapsing, relaxing, sinking, and dissolving. Just clear your mind from any other objects or any other thoughts or any other feelings and just think of sleep. Now, in a few moments, but not yet, I'm just going to tap you on your right wrist, and I'm just going to have you press down on my hand. So eyes open on three, one, two, three. I'm just gonna tap on the right wrist. You're just gonna place it in mine. I want you to push down as hard as you can, but keep focusing at the object. Just push down harder. Push, 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 keep watching. Push, just push, push, push down. Push down as hard as you can. Sleep, just relax, closing your eyes. And the more you relax, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. Now in a second, not yet, I'm gonna to count to three. When I do reach three, you'll look at the light. If you ever hear me say the word sleep, your eyes will immediately close. You'll sink down in your chair, just as if you were like a rag doll, loose and limp. One, two, and three, look at the light and sleep all the way down even further and even deeper. I want you to imagine in a few moments something to be true. I want you to imagine the number three has disappeared from your memory banks. Nod your head if you understand. I want you to understand the more you think about the number three, the more three has disappeared from your memory. Nod your head if you understand. Now in a few seconds, I'm gonna ask you to count from one up to 10 with your eyes open. When you do count from one up to 10, imagine the number three has disappeared from your memory banks. Nod your head if you understand. One, two, and eyes open. Hey, welcome back. So I want you to put both hands out. I'm going to tug a finger. When I tug a finger, I just want you to count from one up to ten. Don't remember. Three has disappeared from your memory. Eyes open. Here we go. Nice and loud. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. So how many fingers you got, TA? Uh, very strange. One too many. <laughs> the best way to describe it, you know, a trick is obviously what a magician would do. Sure. It has a rehearsed conclusion. Typically with hypnosis, it's more organic. So whilst I'm the conductor of the of the hypnotic suggestions, I don't always know what the outcome's gonna be. So that's the difference.